just keeps getting better and better good day everyone <laughs> so i had a great day out last night honestly it was <laughs> something else that's why the eye bags are just like this because i didn't fall asleep till 2 a.m um literally had a great day out in london yesterday met so many amazing people and made genuine connections with everyone um which i think i'll carry on for a long time so i really want the room to reflect the vibe that i'm going for today which is just really well today and tomorrow which is just really relaxed, really sacred, really temple-like. So I'm gonna um, even be extra and just do a deep little clean of the room, a nice little prayer session and just set up the vibration to welcome me back from the cacao ceremony. I definitely need somewhere more sacred to turn to when I come back so I can fully reflect on everything that's happened and just sit with myself. Um, so yeah, I definitely want the place, place to reflect that. So I'm gonna set up a little fruit um a little fruit tower i bought some fruit <laughs> basically and it has me gas I'm, I'm gonna set up a fruit tower get some water um yeah do some prayer and just really use the space to return to myself like i feel like i really appreciate being in the, in the hotel at the moment because where i'm at at the moment i don't have my own room and again i'm going with the flow and embracing my chaos as i've said before in previous vlogs i am embracing my chaos but at the same time, I always love having my own room and my own space. I love, I'm a person who loves boundaries and routines and waking up in the daytime and making my bed, you know what I mean? And even though I come straight from those routines, let's keep it real, I do. But my routines are what liberate me rather than limit me. Um, and obviously I know that a lot of people feel limited by routines but honestly if you have if you strike a divine balance within your routine and make it reflect who you truly are your routines will be one of liberation they will become like the ladder of dna you know they'll hold you up um they'll hold you up yeah <laughs> literally allowing you to achieve your enlightenment because that's what a routine is for like that automated process but it's like and to be fair you know what as well what one big illusion is it's the fact that you don't think you have a routine Everyone has a routine. Everyone. It's just whether you're conscious of it or not. It's whether you're living in someone else's routine or not. An example of this is that you follow Monday to Friday or maybe Sunday to Saturday like how I do. Do you know what I mean? You follow a routine whether you're conscious of it or not. You follow a cycle whether you're conscious of it or not. Um, and just because you don't don't consciously adhere to it doesn't mean you're not adhering to one. Um, so it's, it's rather are you going to design your own routine and stick to your own routine and have that routine help you build the being that you truly are or are you going to pretend that you don't have one and then just get swept up in the cha the so-called chaos and, mad and madness because even like if we really think about it and um, I've said this before but I'll say it again we're all under the order of Kronos um, the chronological order we're all under it so again you do follow a routine as whether you know you choose to so, so like routines can either liberate you so it's either you use chronos and go above that or you stay within chronos chronological order but again that's a whole different conversation and this is just a vlog <laughs> sometimes i need to know when to like not do that but i just can't not do that at the same time but yeah I'm gonna leave the soca mix link in the description because the soca mix is bad. <laughs> 
Honestly. Okay, so I don't know how much of today I'll be able to film simply because obviously it is a ceremony and everything like that. Um, but I'm excited for today and I'll take you guys along for the journey as much as possible. Um, right now I'm just going to head out towards, I think it's called Brentford Lock. And I'm just going to sit there for a while and write down my intention. I'm either going to do it in Brentford Lock or in Fulham where the ceremony is actually taking place. Um, and yeah, just write down my intentions, read through the intentions that I wrote that actually led me even to come to London in the first place. And just... Um, yeah, reconnect with myself a little bit, go for a little play, I'm gonna bring my poi balls as well, so play outside in the park. And then yeah, just head straight to the ceremony and just fully in indulge and immerse myself in the experience. <sighs> I'm happy, I'm genuinely happy, like, just how this week has gone. Um, I just, I'm so full of gratitude, I'm so full of gratitude and I'm so grateful, honestly. Yeah. So I'm just at the train station waiting to go to the next location, waiting to go to um, Fulham, Putney. I'm going to be in Putney and Fulham. Um, probably going to sit by the water and then wait until five for the ceremony to start and then walk my way over. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. I'm just here a little bit late. I just missed the train so I'm going to wait for the next one and then yeah, see you guys later. Okay, so I just got back in from the cacao ceremony. I went for a walk by the river before um, and it was just really, really nice. I picked up like some lovely, lovely, lovely flowers and I just feel so refreshed and new and ready to take on the little messages and the little insights from the ceremony into my life going henceforth. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna draw a bath write down some intentions and call it a night. Okay, so hello everyone. Today is my last day in London. Um, I've just packed up all my bags. Packed up all my bags, set my intentions. I'm gonna be returning these flowers outside to some grass before I jump on the bus and get going. Um, but I thought I would show you guys what I'm doing and just set the intention for this video, which is just to have fun and see what messages we see on the way home. Um, I'm also going to be doing some reflections in this video about things that I've learned during my time in London, during my time this week, and yeah, literally. So thank you so much as well to everyone that's just joined me on this journey. Thank you for being present with me um, and giving me your time and just support as well. I really, really appreciate it. Like a lot of things came to mind during the ce during the ceremony, and I'd love to share those with you whilst on my way back to Manchester. So let's go for it. Let's have a powerful day. I'm not gonna lie, I'm struggling down the hallway, like trying to carry this and the and the bouquet of flowers <laughs> and like two backpacks and it and two two what are these called? <laughs> these and then this on my back as well, like struggling down the hallway, but we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it.
personal and again death warning trigger warning for everyone um, but every time that I have those deja vu's it reminds me that my time on earth is so short it reminds me of just a lot more things you know in different realms and different aspects of myself and I am eternally eternally grateful I want to cry. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Um, a tear might fall, but I'm not gonna at the moment just because I don't feel to. You. And I'm, I mean, like, genuinely, not that I'm holding it back or anything, I just don't feel to, you, but I know I'm going to cry. Um, but yeah, just like this, I am so grateful right now, like, just so full of that gratitude energy. And this just goes to show what was just shown to me yesterday during the cacao ceremony as well. Like you are never alone. <laughs> um, we are what we see in our reality. So as the day changes, like we are the day that we're seeing change. Like you go from, for example, if I use Ra and as an example, you go from Kepra to Ra to Atum to Amu. Did I get that right? <laughs> you know what I mean? So you, get, you go through the different phases of the day, but you do that within yourself. So you have your brain, as soon as you wake up, you're kind of like foggy, then you get into a, a sharp brain, then you get into an evening brain, and then your brain at night time, do you know what I mean? So you are the day that you see. And as you're going through these phases, you should be checking in with the creator in all of these phases. And even I forget to do this, I forget to integrate this because I get swayed by the motion and the chaos of life. But it's just like, nah, check in with yourself, checking with the creator, checking with your guys, checking with your ancestors, just like you were checking with your best friend. 